Hello. Hello. We are the Book Cougars, two middle-aged women on the hunt for a good read. I'm Emily. And I'm Chris. And we are and here we're today here today to talk to talk about our next read along. Go Went Gone by Jenny Erpenbeck. And this is a book in translation, right? Mm-hmm. Which is one is one of our what the, what we've decided is our goal for our four read-alongs this year. So she's considered one of the most, I hate to use the word important, but one of the most influential, impactful European writers, uh, especially in Germany. She's from Germany. So we are looking forward to this. Now, where did you yeah, get yours? Yeah, so I got mine when I was in um, Arizona, which seems like a lifetime ago now. Yeah. (laughs) I was in Prescott, Arizona at the Peregrine Book Company. Beautiful, beautiful bookstore. It's great. Lovely logo. Yeah, and I was really excited to find it because we had just decided what our read-along was going to be, I think. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I love getting the bookmarks when you buy a book because it also just kind of reminds you of being in that store or if you're ordering books from a favorite store exactly what about you where did yours come from i got mine from riffraff oh up in providence rhode island um when we stopped there on the way home from the jfk presidential library in boston oh so you've had this book for a while yeah i've had it for a couple years it's been on my radar i did not know that oh that's so cool so um yeah really looking forward to it so it is about just to give you guys an idea uh, you guys can you tell like i'm from chicago um y'all how about y'all i like (laughs) y'all all All (laughs) y'all um it is about a german uh professor living in berlin he's retired he was a classics professor and so he's a little uh, you know i haven't read it yet so i don't know if he's bored with his life or he's just retired and you know kind of looking around for what to do next with his life and he becomes intrigued by some african refugees and right. the plot or the story takes off from there right i think he starts to get involved in their plight i'm not exactly sure but yeah i'm very excited so it's may 1st chris and i are both going to make this our upcoming read yes and we're going to be talking about it on the podcast on what do we say? Episode 103? Episode 103, which will be coming out later in May. And if you are interested in contributing your comments or questions to us to discuss on that episode, I think May 22nd, if you can get us any emails or social media comments by May 22nd, we'd love to include your thoughts and comments and questions. Yeah, and we have an active um, read-along page on Goodreads as well already. People have finished the book. They're, you know, reading the book. So we would love for you to join our Goodreads page and uh, make comments there as well. Mm -hmm. And and I think um, our buddy Robin, Robin posted a YouTube video of the author being interviewed as well. So that's something. I always like to watch those things after I read yeah. the book. So I'm really looking forward to checking out that video once I finish. Yeah, I had just asked Robin whether that should be watched before or after you read the book. It's um, it's a talk she gave uh, at Harvard. I had just started watching it this morning, actually. So it's great that you mentioned that because Claire Massoud, uh, I think. That, oh, that I love pressure? her. She's the one who does the introduction. Yeah. So I thought, you know what? Well, for one, I had to stop watching to get online with you. <laughs> um, but then I thought maybe I should <laughs> wait because I, I don't like to know a ton about a book before I start reading it. So we'll see yeah. what Robin has to say. So check out uh, her answer on Goodreads. Yeah, 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 I'm very curious about that as well. But I, I usually like to, I, I usually finish a book and then right away get online, look up reviews, look up interviews and things like that. But we'll see what Robin says, because yeah. maybe there's a reason to watch this one ahead of time. Mm-hmm. You know, I think it depends on how spoilery their talk gets, you know, right, exactly. So. Yeah, sometimes it's good to listen before, but I don't like spoilers. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I will say some of the feedback on our Goodreads page about this is that the beginning 
part of the book is a little tricky to get through, but once you get through it, it really moves. Mm -hmm. So it could be that if you're kind of struggling, if you started it and you're struggling, watching the YouTube video might give you some, you know, inspiration to keep moving. I don't know, because I haven't watched the video. So (laughs) (laughs) we'll see. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yes, that's right. Well, we're really hoping that people join us. We love to hear what people have to say with our read-alongs. So like Emily said, right. we hope that you'll join us for this read-along. We're really looking forward to it. Yeah. And we have to go because we have to go read. <laughs> the book calls. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Yes, that's right. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>